is site number one. Look at how long this is. This would be perfect for an RV. Beautiful site. It's a nice site. Here's another open site. This is site number two. Another one along the same little stretch of roadway. This beautiful big tree. A little wet. Well, in all, not a bad site. Site number two. This is site number three at Bear Spring Mountain DEC Campground. Beautiful old trees. Nice fire pit table. Nice spot. Might be a little tough to get into with a trailer, but it's doable. Bear Spring Mountain Campground. This is site number four. It's a big site, biggest site I've seen here yet. Little shortcuts down to the campsites below. That is beautiful. It's like three times the size of the site that I'm in right now. It's a very well kept campground, I must say. Yeah, that's site number four. Number five. Numbers jump around here. It's another nice site right on the lake. Don't ask me why this is site seven, but it's 27 there and this is number seven. I'll try to figure out these numbers later. You're right on the road. That's the exit to the park right there. It's not a bad site. Again, you're right down by the pond, which is right there. All the spots have nice gravel surfaces, nice and dry. We had a killer rainstorm on Friday night. No puddling. Place is very well maintained. That's a path that goes up to the bathroom. Straight down the line. These would be easy to get a, a rig into, but like I said, you're right on the road. Okay. Okay, this whole stretch of sites, starting at site nine, they're all kind of like parallel parking spots. It would be easy to put an RV on these sites, but you don't have a lot of privacy. This is site 11. Another long, narrow site. Now, I was here for a big rainstorm and this all turned to puddles. They had their tent right here and they got flooded. So I might avoid site number 11. This is more than likely gonna rain while you're here. This is site 11 and that's site one, very confusing. The next one is site number 13. Let me get you a shot of the sign. This is site 14. It's my next door neighbor's site, number 14. A nice site for Good a rig. Size. Probably nice. fit at least a 20 footer in there. This is site 15. It's on a nice little hill here. It's way up high, not a lot of privacy. But you are, I think, the highest spot in the campground. Bathrooms are right there again. Interesting site. Maybe a tent only. I wouldn't put an RV up here. It's an ADA site. Nice and big, right next to the bathrooms behind me. Easy to roll on surface. Extra high fire pit. They don't have the special table. Well, something's better than nothing. A nice big site, right by the bathrooms. Walk up here. We've already seen these two. This is site number 17. Now, the problem with this site, it's right on a major thoroughfare through here. So I've seen people, they park their car here to stop people from doing it. It's a nice little site. You got this room to park over there too. Pretty nice site, all in all. This is campsite 19. Right on the lake. 
the beauty. This is site number 23, another good one for the RV. Tucked back here in the corner. Bathrooms are right up the hill. Not a bad spot, number 23. This is site number 25. Nice wooded site. But what's really nice about this site is you're right on the lake. It's a beautiful spot. 25. This is 26. Another nice wooded place. Great place for a hammock. Some place to come back and do a hammock camp. The sun's setting, so I'm getting some glare, but you can still see the site. Now look at this. Site number 27 is ADA. It's got the extra long table. An extra high fire pit for people who have lack of sensation in their legs so they don't burn themselves and this one even comes with a whole stack of firewood that's real nice of them cool. I'll label which number this one is you don't ask me why this is site 7 but it's 27 there and this is number 7 I'll try to figure out these numbers later you're right on the road that's the exit to the park right there not a bad site. Again, you're right down by the pond, which is right there. It's a nice spot. All the spots have nice gravel surfaces, nice and dry. We got to kill a rainstorm on Friday night. No puddling. This place is very warm. I tried to get as many sites as I could. Many of them were occupied. It's one of the pitfalls of weekend camping. Most of the, the sites have been full. I've been trying to run around and catch them in between when guests are in. I'm trying not to invade anyone's privacy. But uh, I got most of them. A good sampling anyway. So if you wanted to camp here, you should get a good idea of what it looks like. I hope you enjoy the video as much as I did making it. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscription button in the corner and turn on notifications. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer when I can. If you enjoy this content, give us a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. We'll see you next time on J. Charles Outdoors.